Hi everyone, I'm Monique and today I am super excited to share this layout with you. This is the first of three layouts I'll be creating for Pear Tree Cut Files as their guest designer this month. Recently I went with my family to our local safari park where there was this amazing dinosaur exhibition and we got a really really cute photo in this kind of cage crate thing that said wild animals in transit and we were all kind of roaring like wild animals and there was this T-Rex model behind us. So I really wanted to capture that, that fun photo. And I came across a couple cut files from Petri Cut Files that would be just perfect for this layout. The first one I chose is Into the Wild, which was the perfect title. And then the second one was some dinosaur footprints, which you'll see me use in a little bit. But first I've got this gorgeous piece of pattern paper from Chamel's Field Trip Collection, and it is just perfect for a wild layout. So you can see me there with my craft knife. I'm cutting out all the background pieces just to leave those gorgeous leaves as the main feature of that patterned paper. Now I'm just taking a second sheet from Field Trip and I'm using that as my background. And here is the Dino Footprints um, cut file, which I'm using as a stencil initially. So I've cut it out slightly smaller than 12 by 12. And I've got this beautiful shimmery chartreuse um, stencil butter, which I am just going to be smearing on there. Um, the colors tie in beautifully with that patterned paper and it works so well through through this cardstock stencil that I've made using the Dino Footprints cut file. Now it may look like I'm not taking much care with how I put the stencil butter on, but I really wanted it to be really textured. So I'm purposefully not making it nice and smooth so that there's lots of lovely texture. Say something that will make my day. Now I've got all the little cut out pieces from those footprints so I'm just going to be covering those in some stencil butter as well so that I can use them a little bit later on as embellishments to add to my layout. I really like how that looks with the leaves layered on top of those footprints and them just peeking through. So I want to raise those leaves up so that there's a little bit of extra dimension and it's got the impression of you looking through those leaves into what's hiding in the background. So I'm just taking some craft foam and I'm sticking it all on and here you can see me coming in with my scissors just to cut around a few of those extra leaves. I want to have the option later on to raise those leaves up just to give them even more dimension using some silicon glue. So I'm just picking leaves that would work quite well um, raised slightly at the tips and I'm trying to make a little bit balanced so that there's leaves all around the page that can be raised up. Now my bed feels just like cobblestone. Oh, oh. Why did she go? Oh, oh. Was I supposed to know that she now it's time to stick it all down and I'm testing out a new adhesive. I've tried so many different ones trying to find the perfect one that keeps everything stuck. I would love your recommendations if you've got an adhesive that you swear by. Please do let me know in the comments. Now I've printed my photo four times. I've printed it twice in 4x6, once in 4x6 but with a white border and then once where I've enlarged the head of the T-Rex from that photo. I've enlarged it quite a bit so that it's a little bit more visible. So you can see I've kept one photo in its entirety, one I have cut out just the cage of the animals in transit, the smaller 4x6 I've cut out the wild animals in transit and there I've cut out the head of the T-Rex, um, the bigger version just to put there just for a little bit more impact and now I'm raising up um, each individual layer so that there's a bit of a three-dimensional effect. I'm going to be adding some silicon glue to the T-Rex's head so that it looks like he's popping out from the photo and growling at us, maybe chasing us in that wild animal cage. And now the, the smaller little sign, um, when I printed it off, in the full 4x6 format, it was cropped off at the bottom. So that's why I printed it off with a white border just so that I could have the full sign. And then I've just layered it with a couple different patterned papers behind it and I'm raising it up with some craft foam. Why did she go? I met her. 
And here's the first peek of that gorgeous pear tree cut file title, Into the Wild. But first, I want to add a little bit of three dimension to some of those leaves. So I'm using the leftover pieces of this patterned paper. I used some of it to cut out the Into the Wild title. So there's some leaves left over, which I'm using. I'm just cutting them out and I'm going to add them on top of the existing um, background just with a little bit of extra dimension using silicon glue so that they look like they are raised out of the page. So I'm just layering them on top of the photo so that that photo is kind of peeking out from behind the leaves. And now I've got some of this gorgeous lime green tissue paper, which I recently got in one of my pear tree cut files, pieces and stencil boxes. Um, so nothing goes to waste. And I'm just using that to back my photo. I'm just tearing off some little strips and leaving a, a thin, roughly torn edge around the whole photo, which ties in perfectly with the colors in that background. So here I am again with some more craft foam just to raise that photo up before sticking it down onto the background. It was a crooked little smile that caught my eye Time went by and it was her and I now out comes my silicon glue. This is my favorite adhesive for dimension at the moment. And I've just squeezed some silicon glue along the full length of that leaf. And I've angled it down onto the layout with the center of the leaf touching that center line of the full leaf and um, the edges kind of raised up. And I've done the same with, with that other leaf. And now this little piece, um, extends into the cut file title so I'm adding that in so that it extends seamlessly into the title which I was very careful to cut in the position where I wanted to layer it in the layout so that the patterned paper in the cut file title would fit in perfectly with the background. Now, I'm not usually so good at making those kinds of decisions at the very start of the layout. Um, I don't usually know where on my page my title is going to go until much later on in the process, but this layout required me to think a little bit in advance about where I wanted everything to be positioned. Okay, now let's build this title. So I've used my Silhouette Cameo to cut out this Petri Cut File title. I've cut it out three times, once onto cream cardstock, which is going to create a bit of a shadow. Then I've cut it out once on the patterned paper, which is the same patterned paper which I've used um, for the background, all those gorgeous leaves. And then I've cut it out a third time using a beautiful kind of chartreuse color. It's a patterned paper from the Field Trip Collection. And I've used the solid part of the, the cut file for the word wild. And instead of backing the cut file, I've raised up those letters using some foam squares. Now I love that vine in the background and I had this idea that it would intertwine with my title. So I'm just using my scissors to, to snip it in various places so that I'm able to manipulate it a little bit more. I do cut off some of the leaves, but then I do bring some of them back in with some silicon glue later on in the process. I'm going to raise this title up using some foam squares. I use two different um, thicknesses because my background is two different levels. So the leaves are slightly more raised than that gray background so for the bits that are going directly onto the background I've got a slightly thicker foam square and then the parts of the title that are on the sticking onto those leaves I use a thinner foam square just so that the title is lying nice and evenly when it's on the layer once it's stuck down I'm just going to go in with a little bit more silicon behind some of those little green leaves just to add a little bit of extra dimension to them as well Now there's a couple little leaves that look a little bit odd being flat when everything else is three dimensional. So I'm just using my craft knife very carefully so that I don't cut through that back layer just to release those little leaves so I can add some glue underneath them. Now's the time when I also go behind some of those other leaves that I cut earlier just to raise them up too. Just tell me why did she go? I'm nearly 
done but I just want to add a few extra little embellishments so I've got those dino paw prints that I put some stencil butter on earlier on and I've got three little ephemera pieces from Chanel's field trip collection which I'm also going to be adding to the layout once again I'm using some silicon glue to adhere them to the page just so that they stand out with added dimension And last but not least, it's sequin time. I'm going to be sticking these beautiful shimmery translucent green sequins just randomly about the page. And they are just really lovely and subtle, but just add a little bit of extra something to the page. Keep watching. In a moment, I'm going to give you some really slow close-ups of all the three dimension in this fun and colorful layout. I've had so much fun creating with these awesome pear tree cut files. I'm going to link them both up for you below as well as the pear tree cut files online store where you can buy both digital and pre-cut cut files. Marie from Pear Tree has also just recently released some beautiful stencils and pear tree pieces so I definitely recommend going and having a little look. And here are those promised close-ups where you can see all that 3D detail and the shimmer from that lovely stencil butter and those little sequins. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch me create today. I hope something you've seen has given you a new idea so that you can go and create something for yourself. If you've enjoyed this video, I'd be so grateful if you could subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram at Handmade Happy by Monique. See you next time. Bye. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I denied to think that she'd be the one?